Um, just on that, were you, you know, the, the comments Drikas had had a bit of backlash. It was mainly actually, strange enough, outside of South Africa. Yeah. Um, were you like fairly surprised by the way pe some people reacted to, to his comments or? In a way, I wasn't surprised um, because there's always different sides to the story. And from where I heard Drikas from, from my side of the story, and that applies to every South African or African that saw it. We know what Drikas meant. Mm. And I back Drikas on that. He's, what he meant is bringing it as a first African back to Africa, you know? And Kumaro and all those other guys, they didn't grow up in Africa, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So they, they are American citizens. They, they, they've grown up in America or in all other countries. So mm -hmm. they don't sleep every day, train every day in Africa and then go out to different countries and go challenge themselves there. Mm. And that's what Rikas meant. And look, I'm also on that race, you know. Um, I also wanna be the, I want to be the first African to bring it to, to bring a major title to, to, to Africa. And I wanna be part of that, you know. So I wanna be part of that because it's a, I believe it's a healthy race, mm -hmm. you know. We all in different, we all in big different organizations and we're trying to bring the title home. Mm. As much as if everyone can bring that back home or all the top uh, African fighters can bring the titles home, that's actually even great. Yeah. So I like the idea that he wants to be the first. I also want to be the first. Mm. So now we're all in a race. Don Match is also fighting in a very big organization. We've got Chad fighting at Brave. Yeah, Chad you know, yeah. And uh, uh, Demart actually fought in Aries and yes. he actually won the title. So it's, it's almost like, how big is Ares? And it's also almost a thing of South Africans are bringing titles back to mm -hmm. Africa, you know, instead of living elsewhere and then fighting there and just being an African champ wherever you are. Mm. There's actually African champs now coming from South Africa, I mean, from Africa. Mm. And honestly, Demat is one of them. He's, he's done it already, you yeah. know? Drikas, I think, did it also with KSW. Yes. So, that's that's perfect. We we're trying to grow the sport, and we want to be the gateway to the next generation of mixed martial arts. Mm. And, and have people doing that. Young kids actually have someone to be able to point to and say, yeah. "BK did it," or "Don did it," or "Drikas." Yeah. That's very important because, again, I always go back to Conor McGregor's story where he said, when he told his parents, "I want to be an MMA fighter," they said, "Well, point to somebody that's doing it from Ireland," and oh, wow. he couldn't. Yeah. So he had to trailblaze and he had to be the person that was doing it. And all of you are doing it. And I like the way you describe it, healthy competition. Yeah. You're all going to drive each other to do it. Yes. Um, because there are hardships to, to just, you know, Cameron spoke about a little bit. It's like trying to be a champion of a major organization that's hard enough. And then it's like trying to do it. And he was going through steps and like then trying to do it out of Africa. It's just, yeah. it's, it's different. Yeah, it is. Um, I remember uh, also fighting out of South Africa for the first time. That was a very big step. I've, I've taken uh, my first uh, fought in Pancrase mm -hmm. before I went into one championship. And it was, it was, it was scary because I'm so used to fighting at home, you know, home crowd, home support. And I fought an in two international guys that came home and I knew I had a home, home advantage towards me. And, mm. I uh, had great performance there. And now it's fighting somewhere else where you have to try to put up a performance or try to win. Mm. It's a lot of pressure, you know. And I think regarding to that, we, oh, geez, I literally lost myself, sorry there. Um, fighting overseas. Yeah, regarding mm. to fighting overseas, it's a, it's a, big, it's a big challenge, you mm. know. It's, it's, it's very tough for for anyone but i think um we are doing that because africa is behind with martial arts mm. and, and, st and meaning of growth and everything else so it's very important for us to make sure that we become very recognizable and it's a lot of pressure mm. yeah. no for sure i mean we're the last sort of continent it was yeah. us and Australasia really that were kind of, or, or Europe, you know, if you want to take them as well, but they weren't even that far behind because they've had kickboxing for decades and, yeah. and, and they've had judo wrestling. But 
we as Africa, we are the last sort of untapped um, gem, if you want to call it a place for martial arts. Yeah. So any martial art besides boxing, really. Mm. Um, and, you know, that's why, again, what you guys are doing, trailblazing, um, getting people eyes onto African fighters. I mean, we were looking at some of the stuff and we'll, we'll have a look at it later, but some of the videos like the captions, um, it's all ninja, like ninja style. And, and that style could be a defining style. It's, it's your defining style at the moment, but that could be the defining style for South Africa yeah. where people are doing stuff that the world hasn't seen before. Yeah. You know, so it's, it, it really is what you guys are doing um, for South Africa is just, you know, we all, we all uh, see it and appreciate it. And um, yeah, hopefully in the next couple of years, you know, the, there'll be champions and organizations um, that they haven't been before. Yeah, yeah. Look, um, yeah, I like that ninja thing you said. Um, that's, it's always been an idea in my fighting style. You know, I've always thought of, you know, trying to, if you, if you remember the Jackie Chan movies mm -hmm. back in the days, they were so entertaining and it was like, wow, I've never seen this move before. Wow, how did he do that? Mm. You know, then, that's the idea of, of for me of trying to fight is, is evolving the sport and trying to do moves that has never been done before. Well, most of the moves have been done, but it's like it's only a few percentage of people that do it. Yeah. And for moves like that to come out of Africa, you know, and that's that's my idea of it. And I believe that Africa has a big potential of martial art fighters that are still to come mm. because of the way we eat in Africa, the food and just the struggle in Africa. There's still a lot of, it's almost like the African continent is a warrior continent mm. and there's still a lot. And like, geez, I'm, I, I'm actually one of the smallest people in Africa. So there's still so much potential of big fighters, you know? So I think within the next few years, Africa will take over the mixed martial arts. Hey guys, if you enjoyed that clip, I've got another one for you over here and over here. Please don't forget to subscribe over here and have a look at my other socials down in the description box below. Thanks for watching.